Well, hi, and welcome back to a bike called Wanda. So there's some good news and some not so good news. The good news is I've got my uh, nylon bushes, which were uh, machined up and still not cheap. They were 66 pounds for two. Um, I'll show you later on why I need the second one. But you know, it was better than hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So, and I'm happy to go to a local manufacturer. So this is quite good. I can put this into the um, rider stock housing um, and uh, check all that out. The not so great news is that for the rudder stock itself, I'd ordered this um, nut online, it's an M24, and I just wanted to know if the rudder um, stock had a, a, a M24 size um, thread on it, because I measured it up and it was about 24 millimetres. So anyway, I bought this, tried to get it on. Um, the thread isn't great, it's a little bit burred, so of course I need to clean up the thread, but even still, it just wasn't going onto this. So when I went to collect these bushes, I also took the rudder stock down on this and showed the guys down there. They think it's a one inch Whitworth, not a 24 metric. Um, so I'm just waiting for them to call me back with a price to make a castle nut for that and also to clean up um, the thread. So that's fine, but the only problem is it's going to take them three weeks to do that. Um, it took them three weeks to do these, you know, so they are pretty slow, but it's just the nature of the industry, you know, little jobs like this, you get pushed to the back of the queue and you just have to wait. So what it means is I can't put everything together this time, which is really what I was hoping to do. I thought this would be it. Now, first up, let's go and take a look at that um, transducer housing to see if it did stick in. And I'm sure many of you are wondering if it's going to come out or not. I'll let you in on a secret. I actually got Rob to knock it out the day after because um, what I found is that if you leave something in there for a couple of weeks and there's a little bit of resin holding onto it, it really binds hard. But if you knock it out within 24 hours, it's a little bit more tolerant. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so it ain't pretty, but um, it's a good foundation which I can build on. So there are a couple of places where it's a little bit thin. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a little, like little gaps here. And there's a ridge around the e edge of uh, this, which I need to fix. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this ridge, um, put some more filler in and, and pop this in a, again, um, and maybe just sand around here to widen the gap a little bit. Right, let's do it. Let's fill up this part here first. There's a little bit of a crack there. So. And then we've got some cavities here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well I guess I'll let the housing itself um, do the job to find the, the flat spot. There's one there, I can feel it. Right, leave it. Leave it, Richard. No more. Well, one thing that I can get on with is just um, cleaning up this rudder a little bit and uh, getting the old sander out, taking off a little bit of the old anti-fouling, just doing a little bit of preparation. Um, so yeah, boring stuff, not fun to watch, but it's probably what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of hours. Well, you're going to be surprised to hear that uh, this is all I've got time for and I'm actually wrapping up. 
Um, now, it's a very short update for you, but for me, it's been a very, very long uh, weekend. Now, I didn't shoot any video of what I've been doing because it's going to be dead boring to watch, but basically I spent yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, and all of today on this. Now, you might remember that there was basically two layers um, full of all of Wonders bits and pieces and tools, and there was a bench there um, with everything on it, stuff up here, desk there, um, that was full of stuff, and then I had another little shelving unit here. So basically, all of this stuff that was here is now here in this extra large van. And uh, I'm pleased to see that everything pretty much fit in. Now, unfortunately, there's not been a lot uh, to show you in terms of working away on Wonder. Um, but this is a pretty important milestone for me because it means that um, everything now I can uh, move down in that van to uh, where I live. I've got a container, a uh, 24 container down there that I'm renting out, so I can put everything in that. And then basically what's left here for Wanda is just the bare necessities to uh, copper coat the, the hull and then spray paint the top sides. Um, and then from that point I can move Wanda down to where I am and I'll have Wanda uh, up on the hard and all the bits and pieces in, a, in a, um, a container. So that will be a different part of the project. So a lot's going to be happening over the next three to four weeks. I'm not really going to be involved in it because um, I'm starting a new job and this four hour drive down here means that I can't really uh, get that involved. But fortunately, I've handed over all of this to Rob. So he's going to um, do all the copper coating on his own. And then I'll probably come down and have a couple of visits with him when we're doing the top sides just to see what's going on there. Um, and just do the final sort of clean up. There's a few bits and pieces lying uh, in the shed still. So before I go, there is one last thing that I want to do before I head off. And that's just check that um, transducer fitting and, and tap it to make sure it comes out. So that's one thing I can show you anyway. Okay, so. Feels like something's gripping. Yeah, something's gripping a little bit, but anyway, shouldn't be much. Hopefully, let's see. There we go. Here's the other side. Oh great, that's really good. Now, I'm absolutely gutted that all of my tools are buried in there because I'd really love to just be able to get the sander out and um, take that lip off because it's going to be really sweet, and really nice fit, nice flat, flush platform, good shape. Just needs a little bit of finishing and sanding and uh, yeah, you can see that the, cu the curve is actually quite symmetrical. So I'm definitely getting better at this sort of stuff, I think. Okay, there should be some pretty significant um, progress over the next couple of updates, so uh, keep watching and I think, you know, you'll see a lot happen very quickly. It's been sort of years and years of preparation and over the next couple of months a lot's going to happen. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.